many dog owners often use the words fur and hair interchangeably when talking about a dog's coat. However, fur and hair are two distinct things in a dog. And knowing the difference does matter. Here's how you can tell if your dog has hair or fur, and what it means for you and Buddy. Both hair and fur are made of keratin, a type of protein found in skin and nails. But there are differences. If you want to know if your dog has hair or fur, there are a few ways to tell the differences by touch and sight. Hair generally has a silkier and smoother feel than fur, and dogs with hair will only have a single coat. Fur, on the other hand, is usually shorter and denser. Dogs with fur either have a single coat of it or a double coat, typically with a protective outer coat and softer undercoat. Fur tends to have short growth cycles so they get shed faster and often. On the other hand, hair tends to be longer than fur and goes through a longer growth cycle. When the hair growth cycle is longer, the less frequently it sheds. This brings us to the next point. There are at least 36 breeds of dogs with hair, not fur, and many are registered with the American Kennel Club. They include small to large breeds with hair ranging from curly, flowing to straight, wiry, and rough. Large and medium breeds, like the Standard Poodle, Labradoodle, and Spanish Water Dog, all come with curly hair. The Old English Sheepdog grows a flowing straight coat. Wiry rough coats can be found in the Airedale and Giant Schnauzer. Small-sized breeds with hair include the Miniature Poodle, Bichon Frise, Maltese, Yorkshire Terrier, and Shih Tzu. Although these breeds shed less by nature of their coat, it doesn't mean they're hypoallergenic. Allergies develop when the immune system treats a harmless substance as though it's a virus. Pet allergy is not an allergic reaction to fur or hair, but proteins found in an animal's skin cells, saliva, or urine. So it doesn't matter if dogs have hair or fur, as all dogs essentially produce the same amount of allergens. So why are some dogs considered hypoallergenic? While dogs produce allergens regardless of coat type, the way their coats trap allergens can be quite different. For example, curly hair tends to trap dander and skin cells better than fur. And as mentioned, hair-coated dogs shed less frequently. This means those allergens stay close to the skin rather than dispersing into the environment. So, if you're basing an adoption decision on whether you'll be allergic to a dog or not, spend some time with the dog before bringing him home. This way you'll know what to expect. All dogs have grooming needs, with some greater than others. For example, curly hair that traps dander and skin cells will also trap shed hair. This can give the appearance the dog is not shedding much, when the opposite is true. Instead, such dogs need to be groomed regularly, or their hair will be matted and knotted. If left alone, the hidden mess of hair can hold moisture, debris, and parasites, which can cause infections or infestations. While bathing can reduce the number of allergens that are released during brushing, bathing too much can remove natural oils and dry the skin. On the flip side, because fur coats shed easily, fur doesn't get trapped as much. Rather, you'll probably spend more time vacuuming and using lint rollers to keep your surroundings clean. While hair and fur in dogs are mostly interchangeable, there are a few differences. Knowing those differences can help in giving your dog the proper grooming care his breed requires. If you have allergies but still want to adopt a pet, this knowledge can point you to the right breed or right kind of dog. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.